Hello, my name is Juan Hernandez. I am a soon-to-be master's student at the University of Texas at El Paso, and I'm going to be teaching a science lesson at the fourth grade level. All right, everyone, have your seats. So today's objective is that we're going to learn about what natural resources are, how they give us what we need to live, and how we can practice conservation of these resources. So the key vocabulary that I want you guys to remember is renewable, non-renewable, reduce, reuse, recycle, water, soil, solar, wind, plants, fossil fuels, coal, natural gas, and conservation. Now notice how they're both highlighted in green. That's because conservation is super important and it's the main focus of today's lesson. So, uh, does anyone have any questions? No? Perfect. So, the world consists of resources, right? This includes renewable and non-renewable resources. Renewable means that there's plenty of it and more of it can be made. But non-renewable means that once it's used up, that's it, we run out. So with this in mind, it's super important that each of us understands that the decisions we make on a day-to-day -day basis have an overall effect on these resources, how much of it is available. So I want you to think that on average, one person uses 408 water bottles a year. That's 10 cases, that's a lot, right? So, before we move on, does anyone have any questions? No? Perfect. So, the materials that are located in the earth occur naturally, uh, that occur naturally include rocks, minerals, soils, water, and gases in the atmosphere. Now remember we went over gases last time? Yeah, perfect. So, some of these natural resources, we can use them without changing them. For example, fresh water and soil, but some of them we have to change, you know, fossil fuels and wood. We can't use them as is, we have to change them. And so we also have to understand that with specific resources, there's not that much of it available. Once we use it, that's it. So fossil fuels and wood, those are good examples. So we can extend the use of these resources by practicing conservation, you know, reducing, reusing and recycling. So we reduce the amount of the resource we use. We reuse the resource in other ways. So for example, you know, you wash off plastic and you use it for something else. Or another example is replacing the resource. So companies will chop a tree down, right? And then they'll replace it. They'll plant a new one. That's also a good way to practice conservation. And before I forget, think about the blue bins that are outside your house. That's a perfect example of recycling. Materials are being collected to be taken to a facility to be processed to make something else. A water bottle becomes a chair, a chair becomes a water bottle. So I'm gonna give you five minutes. I want you to work with a partner and think of one way that you can practice conservation chip today. Perfect, thank you guys. I'll be walking around if anyone needs anything. I'm liking what I'm hearing, a lot of collaboration, a lot of good feedback from each other. Great job, guys, you have one more minute. No rush. Eyes on me, one, two, three. All right, guys, good job. I heard a lot of things that I liked. Everyone was focused, everyone did amazing, okay? So we're gonna play a quick game. I'm gonna point to the sticker and you're gonna tell me whether it's renewable or non-renewable. When? Renewable. Plants? Renewable. Solar? Renewable. Water? It can be both, depending on what type of water. Soil? Non-renewable. Coal? Non-renewable. Fossil fuels? Non-renewable. Natural gas? Non-renewable. So just to summarize everything we went over, there are a lot of resources on Earth that we use. These are called natural resources. We use these things in order to live on our day-to-day. -day. So with this in mind, we have to understand that they're not infinite, meaning that we have to practice conservation ship and be responsible with how much we use or else we're gonna run out. And a good way to remember this is practicing reducing, recycling, reducing, reusing, and recycling. Okay guys, so before you leave, I'm gonna ask you guys to write me an exit ticket. You're gonna write down one way that you can practice conservation on your index card and pass it to me at the front door. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Oh.